So Farrah Campbell is our next speaker. Now her story is one uh, that I'm hearing a lot where someone spent many years in another industry and then crossed into tech. Uh, a couple members of my current team have actually taken that same path. Uh, Farrah spent 10 years working in healthcare management and made the jump to tech after a chance 20 minute car ride with Kara Swisher. She is now the ecosystems director for Stackery in Portland, Oregon. Let us welcome Farrah to the stage. Thanks for having me. Uh, today, uh, we're gonna get personal. Uh, I'm gonna talk about how I opened my mind, uh, how that opened doors, and how I worked to change my narrative so I could start to achieve things that I never thought were possible, like this very moment here today. Um, I was at a place in my life where I was not happy. I was struggling to make connections. I was struggling to find meaning in my work. Uh, and I was struggling to find a new job. I seemed to only be focusing on all the negativity and why these roles were not meant for me. I started to think about that little girl who told herself that she could do anything. And I began to wonder, when did that narrative change? When did she start telling herself she couldn't instead of she could? Why not me? Why can't I get that role or promotion? Why can't I learn how to automate some of my tasks? Why do I keep questioning all my skills and abilities? Why not me? I decided I had to unfuck myself. I had to release my cynicism, my tendencies to judge the people and the situations around me. I decided that it was time to deal with my own personal technical debt. I needed to start telling myself that I could and stop telling myself that I couldn't. I needed to remind myself in times when that I was anxious and uncomfortable that I was a badass. I got, you got this girl I'm doing that right now. <laughs> I needed to start to reframe the narratives and the words that were running through my head. I needed, to, I needed to keep my spirits up. I know that there's going to be a long road ahead and I cannot control what's happening around me but I can control the thoughts that I choose to entertain. More opportunities are presenting themselves, and it seems that the harder I work, the luckier I get. I'm challenging myself, I'm pushing through new boundaries, and I'm gaining confidence with each and every step of the way. I'm no longer seeing differences and finding ways to exclude myself. I know I'm a valued member of the team, I know I'm a productive member of the team, and I know that I deserve a seat at that table. More words ignite me, and I reframe these to something that serves me. Again, <laughs> I cannot focus on what I can't control. <laughs> In these times when I'm triggered, I'm working to understand what the motivation is, what's driving this behavior, I'm working to listen for understanding instead of listening to defend. More opportunities or like problems are becoming opportunities, impossibilities are becoming possibilities, oppression is becoming not about me. Problem projects, I'm gonna take every single one of them. I'm gonna take that opportunity to learn. I'm focused more on my daily interactions about the relationship and less about that transaction. I'm thinking about 10 months from now and what happens if I let my ego rise up to defend. I'm processing all these thoughts. I'm taking all the good ones in and I'm removing anything that has a negative tone. Again, I cannot control what's happening around me but I can control the thoughts that I choose to entertain. I can stop to look at the path that I'm on, to look to see where I'm complicit in the things that I say that I don't like and the things that I would like to change. I can make sure that I'm putting more love and more positivity out in this world, making sure that I'm finding ways to support and to amplify others and, making, and not focusing on finding their failures and pointing out when they've made a mistake. In times of inequity and bias, I'm focused on building bridges, working to gain alignment and hoping to gain more awareness and build support.
I can keep giving 150% even when I find out that I'm not going to move forward with the acquisition of my team. I can make sure to focus on the lessons that I've learned while there and the relationships that I've built along the way. I can choose to be happy. I can choose to embrace this life of learning. I can choose to continue to build resilience so that I can move forward with a, gracefully with a smile on my face. I can choose these things. I can choose to keep being positive. I can choose to keep reframing situations. I can choose to keep growing and to keep learning and to stay open. I can choose these things, and I hope that my boys will too. Thank you.